So we have Durgama Vidya as the adjective, descriptive adjective of Durga, which is also a sutra, sutra form, aphorism form. What is Durgama Vidya? Durgama is rare and Vidya, as we know, is knowledge. Vidya, the word comes from Vidya to know. What is worth knowing is Vidya. What is worth doing is Karya, Kru Karya. So Vida, Vidya, what is worth knowing, what is to be studied, understood, learned, that is Vidya. Okay. Uh, you are uh, muted. <coughs> so Durga is Durga, Durga Devi is Durgama Vidya incarnate. Murtimanta Jnana. She is Murtimanta Jnana, Vidya incarnate. So we have seen so many exalted, so many um, great aspects of this magnificent personality. And this is a very strong aspect of her that she is likened to uh, the knowledge itself, um, knowledge incarnate. Now, what is Durgama Vidya? We have seen again and again Paravidya. Paravidya is the higher knowledge. We have seen Aparavidya, Adi Bhautika Shastras are Aparavidya. Paravidya is Upanishadic knowledge. The knowledge that is discussed in Upanishadas, the knowledge about Brahman, about uh, Paramatma and Jivatma, their relationship, the ori origin of the world, all those discussions that are going on in the Upanishadas between the pupils and the teacher, the Acharya, the Rushis, and, the, uh, and their, their students, that is Paravidya. And that is Durgama Vidya because it is not easy to understand. First of all, it is rare and it is difficult to understand. So it is Durgama. And uh, Paravidya, we can talk a lot about that, but we have seen it again and again. What is Paravidya? Adhyatma Vidya knowledge of Brahman, Atman, all that. So that knowledge is synonymous to the personality of Durga herself. That is Durgama Vidya. Durgama Vidya. What a nice and indicative name. It is Durgam, difficult to attain. At the same time, it is very rare. Mm. Both the meanings apply. Many of us spend our entire lifetime and maybe even lifetimes moving along, achieving, attaining, doing everything without even being aware that there is something much deeper, much profound, which is there at the base of it. We live only at the surface. And living at the surface, we continue living. Till the time comes when we want to go deeper. And when we go deeper, we see multi multitudes of energy patterns. And if you try to go to the source of these energy patterns, then we find that in the end, there is only one principle. That principle is over here called as Durga. And this Durga is Durgama Vidya. Because she is not just an individual. She has been given a form so that we can understand her better. But what is very crucial is that she is transcendental and she is the source of everything. It is from her that the entire creations come forth and it is into her that everything dissolves back. She is all powerful. She is everything. There is no other world beyond that. And this knowledge 
can bring about change in us. Be it dharma, be it artha, be it kama, be it moksha, four qualities. Dharma is not religion. Dharma is your inherent nature and sustaining that nature, increasing the quality of that nature. Artha is not money. Artha means resources. They are physical, mental, emotional, as well as spiritual. Kama is not only sexual pleasures, but Kama is Kamana, desires, all desires. And without desires, nothing moves. And it's not wrong. And then beyond that, having had all of these, then we have moksha. Mm. Going beyond, liberating. When the atom is in its normal form, the energy is stuck in the atom. And when you process it in a specific manner, what do you say? The energy is liberated from the atom. Moksha ho gaya. So, when you transcend one level and go into another level, that is also a type of moksha. It is not the ultimate form of moksha, but it's also a type of moksha because there's a liberation of energy which has taken place. There is a shift which has taken place. And scriptures speak of these four methodologies, these four purusharthas, which are worth following. She is the one who inspires us, strengthens us to start at the first and reach the ultimate. It is only through her influence that we can achieve all these. That is Durgama Vidya. Mm. 